Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Forgotten Forest. Now, if you remember, we are, we just made it out of the mansion and we got to a cabin. We just met some random dude who took care of spirits with his crazy powers. So, I think he's an ally. Yeah. Hey, Doge. Waiting for the stuff that we've already done. Oh, uh, waiting for the stuff that we've already done. Oh, uh, waiting for the stuff that... Okay, finally. We can get about doing our freaking business. Business. All right. Let's get looking. Old, old yars. Now, I hope there's no secrets in here that will kill me. Thank God. So far, so good. Anything in the oven? No. Oh, oh. Walking, walking on self. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Very old bread. Gross. Aged drinks. Ooh. Oh. I was like, aged wine, maybe. Perhaps. For some reason, I thought those were stairs. So it's just uh, the tiniest of rooms. Oh, crap. I just click things without... Hey, it's a double bed. There's a key! We did it! Oh, oh crap. So I supposed to touch that? Is this me? No, this is not me. I have a key! Should I go tell the dude? I don't really know where to go. Oh, he's not moving. So did you find anything? Yeah, I found a key. Do you have any idea where it goes? I have no idea. I also found a note. But all, overall, it seems like normal family lived in this cabin. Hmm. Dear God, if it were so, then I feel deeply sorry for that family. Why? Do you even know why? Do you even know where we are or what this place is? Not exactly. Where in the Forgotten Forest? I think you meant to say we're. We are. Wait. Wait! That myth is real? They're all real, and they all happened in this forest. <laughs> all those myths that the people of the village talked about were real? Freaking old lady, I, I knew it. Foreboding, it was. Yes, and that's why I was sent here to get you out. Wow. So many enters the forest, they have a small time frame before they are eternally trapped. Oh, God. If you want to leave this forest, we have to set this... F oh. Do that, we must find out about the spirit's past. So we can fit figure out what it needs for... Oh, okay. We did most of this stuff, I feel. I expanded the blessings so that we can... At least go outside and investigate. You are so just... I love it. Mm, there's a shovel. I want it. Oh, oh. Is he following me? Weird. Oh. Oh, done it. Done diddly did it. I wonder how far he set the thing. Oh, God. I don't want to die. No. No. I'm not I'm not brave. Sorry. Sorry. Let me go the other way. It's a, it's a freaking cave, and I have zero ways to light. Like, I just walk in and die. And I, there's no statues here to save. Ooh. Ooh. We, we, I, this is important. Oh, crap. There's something inside. It's a, it's a chest. Can you open the chest? It's locked. What about the freaking key? There you go. Oh, yeah. This, Rebecca, you're so silly. I'm sorry. I'm so, so. Why? Why? Why did I have to lose you, too? Hmm? Huh? Holy crap. She can see me? What the freak? You. Lady, I didn't even know I could do this, okay? I'm not, I don't mean to be disturbing your memories. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I will. I will. You're right. I don't. I'm trying to help. Uh, 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 don't touch me. Oh, it's him. Gotcha. What? What happened? He just passed out. Apparently, we can go into memories or whatever. I touched the chest and this guy. I know I'm back at, at the cabin and this woman was there. She was saying, sorry, sorry. And then she looked at me and started screaming at me, telling me to leave. I don't know exactly what you saw, but I do know you have a unique ability. Well, you don't freaking stay. I'm a spirit talker or whatever the frick. What do you mean? You said you were sent back at the cabin, right? Jeez! Well, you actually just passed out. Where we sent was not the cabin. I knew a few people who have your ability. What is this ability? You can enter dreams. What? That's just called dreaming. Because you're a spirit walker, you have the ability to enter both the spirit world and real and world at the same time. I am too a spirit walker, but I'm unable to enter the spirit realm. As spirit walkers, we can also speak to also. Oh, hell no. Yeah, absolutely. Go, run. Dun, 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 dun. To the spirit of anyways, how to break the barrier. I don't know how spirit walkers enter other spirit dreams, but you're the only one who can. Okay. I don't know how to enter the spirit realm. Holy. Oh my gosh. Okay. If I get trapped, okay, what if I go to sleep? That's, it has to do with dreams, right? A bed. Yeah, use it. You silly. 
squat. Dude, I don't know what to do. How do I just figure out what to do? I thought I would go to sleep. It's a good thing I'm not timed, because I would totally be dead. Look how he's just like, figure it out, and then stands there in the corner. Dude, I don't know. What if I go outside? I can't. You go to the left room and sleep on the left bed. I did! I tried that! Oh sleep in the left bed. She won't. You had to go to the left side? What the frick? Why does it matter? You silly, silly girl. Run, you're wasting my time. Oh. Who the frig are you? You can see me, can't you? Yes, I can. So you're an actual spirit. Yes. And this realm is my prison. Oh, damn. Ooh. I got heavy real quick. I was many things. To them, I was everything. Ooh, deep. But when they needed me most, I wasn't there. What happened? Wait, we're, I'm back. Welcome back. Dead. Daddy! Oh. Giant blue eyes. Yes, son? Are we going fishing today like you promised? Of course we are. Just let me get ready. Oh my gosh. Make sure you come back before dark. We were such a healthy family back then. Well, one day, everything was taken away from me. What happened? Hey, Marcus. Yeah? You think you could fix the hole in the roof soon? Yes, that's fine. I've been meaning to fix that. I guess I could do that today. I then lost everything due to my clump. I died that day. What? What? I thought, like, okay, did his son die too? No, his son's right there. So he's just like, I'm an idiot, and I died. Whoops. <laughs> you could say I'm the reason for the fall of my family. He promised he would take... Uh... He's dead, you idiot. I was many things. To them, I was everything. But when they needed me most, I wasn't there. Because you're an idiot. If I go to sleep again. What about this side? Okay, so it really does matter which side of the bed you take. So now I'm going to be going through the woman's dream or prison or whatever. Okay. Oh, hey, how you doing? You, why are you here and how did you get here? I <laughs> Anyone's guess, bro. Can't exactly explain how I got here, but I do know why I'm here. Then why? Right now, in the real world, I'm in your cabin with another person. We were chased and forced into the cabin. There's a very aggressive spirit outside and it won't leave us alone. That doesn't explain it. <laughs> the reason I came into this realm is because I believe that the spirit has something to do with this cabin. Do you have an idea who this spirit is or what it wants? I'm not sure, but it could be him. Him? Your son? Oh, crap. When he was gone, it was never the same. Our lives were never the same. But one day, she came to us and changed our lives. Oh! Papa! The child doesn't know or is being naive. Yes, may I come in? Uh, apparently, yeah. My mom? What the hell? Hello, my name is Leila Hartman. I understand that your husband has recently passed away. Yes, he died recently. I understand how hard it must be for both you and your son, but I came here to say, don't let it change your life. Both you and your son are still alive. You must strive to live. I know that your husband will want that. Wow. Profound. Any husband will. Oh. Wow. As soon as she said that, I realized something very important. I had to keep moving forward. He was gone. But I knew in some way he didn't leave us. Even though he was gone. It felt as if he was still here. Deep stuff. After this lady came to us, my son and I were starting to be happy again. We truly started to move on. It seemed like the kid was like, fine. But one day it all fell apart. Hey son, do you want to go for a picnic today? A picnic? We haven't been outside in a long time. Yeah, we should go. Something bad. Oh, God. It seems like a terrifying place, by the way, at in the freaking forest. Okay, when it suddenly starts storming, that's bad too. You have to get home. You stupid child. Yes. <laughs> she just took off without even checking or anything. Days passed and Timothy never made it back home. It was all my fault. I lost both my husband and my son. All in the same time of desperation. They were taken from me. But out of all of it, it became worse. Much worse. <coughs> oh my dear lord. Is it good? 
Okay. It just walked in and freaking killed her. Just like that. Alright, let's go get the child's side of the story then. Is the dog? You're the angered spirit. That's what I used to be. I'm assuming you're here to find out about who I am and what happened to me. Da -da -da. And I will show you everything. I was in the forest for three days until something happened. The wolves took me in. I was surprised they didn't kill me on sight. <laughs> they took care of me. Then I noticed I was becoming one of them. What? A voice then told me that I would never be able to see my mother again because of the form I was in. So I asked how I would be able to see my mother again. They told me that I would have to remove her body from the real world and place her into the spirit world. That's exactly what I did, but it costed my life. You friggin' idiot! Is it me? It's me. What did you do? You're so stupid! You're in pain. Oh, do you? But it's not that pain that I once felt. I felt many emotions. Hate, love, sadness, and joy. I felt them once, but not anymore. What do you mean? Emotions were taken from me the moment I killed my mother. And, if you wish to escape this realm, you must get my emotions back. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. <laughs> That's something for you to figure out, Spirit Walker. You're an idiot. Do these things! How? I don't know, but figure it out. Okay, so I actually stopped recording right there because my camera was melting before my eyes. But I was going to end the episode uh, at here because we got a lot of story in, but I, it was sort of like a, a weird spot. So I'm actually going to go do, I think I have to get all four of his emotions. It was like sadness, joy. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But I'm going to go do one, I guess, and then I'll end it. So it's going to be a bit of a long episode. I wonder how many emotions I'm going to actually get. Holy hell. Alright, let's go the other way. Oh my dear lord, thank god. Wait. What is the most important value to you, to humans? Peace, love, family, or friends? I feel like friends kind of come and go. Peace can't really happen. If you have love, you have peace. In a way. Family is important, but family automatically has love. I feel like the answer here is love or family. What would be most important to humans? Their family or love? I'm going to say family. Family. Hey! Don't hurt me. Which of the two statues shows true passion? There's a story engraved on the statue. Read the story. When I was young, there was a stray dog in my village. No one cared for this dog. No one loved him. I then became friends with the dog. When I took care of the dog, people of the village thought I was foolish for caring for such an animal. But despite the village people's remarks, I still cared for the dog. Years later, the dog died, my first pet. My first friend was taken away from me by the cruel reality of time. The village people didn't care either. Out of my passion, I buried him in his most favorite spot in the woods. Does this statue represent true passion? I didn't get to read the other one. True passion? Passion. <laughs> so my dogs are outside and when I brought them inside, the smaller one sneezed and like hit her head on the wall and then looked at the wall like, what the hell? <laughs> my parents died when I was very young. I didn't even know who they were. I then became an orphan who was unable to feel the love and passion of others. Because I didn't have any family, I was forced to feel that way. I was put under adoption countless times and no one wanted to adopt me. Many years later, when I grew up, a friend of mine told me about an orphan who was under adoption. He mentioned how the orphan didn't have any family. I checked for myself, and he was correct. This orphan was alone like me, and no one wanted to adopt him. No one cared for him. Out of my own passion, I adopted the orphan. I did this because I didn't want the orphan to, f to live what I lived through. So I cared and raised the orphan just as he was my own child, so that both I and him could feel the true love and passion of family. This is actually like kind of hard. I feel like it's this one. Cuz somebody who has absolutely nothing, I mean he can sympathize. Somebody who had absolutely nothing grew up and then took care of somebody else who had absolutely nothing. Or a girl finds a dog that everyone didn't care for and she cared for him. I kind of feel like this is it. Despite everything she pushed through, took care of someone who, when no one else would. Do you show true passion? 
I, it sounded right in my head, but they were both really kind of, kind of on that friggin' hitting the nail on the head. Why? Like, I want them, I want them to explain why. <laughs> I guess it's because it's like, what's the most important thing? Family. And then he mentioned family. My first friend. God dang it, that's it, that's why. She's like, I raised this dog as a friend. This one was like, I raised him as a family. My own child. Feel, yeah, that, that was the obvious answer. I'm an idiot. That was obvious. God dang it, man. An essence of love. Oh. Alright then. Let's freaking do this. Oh, come on. It was like I had a freaking clear shot, and that one was just like, no, gotcha. What the frick? It's, just, it's freaking random! Ah! Is this one gonna turn left? Who freaking knows? God dang it. Rick. Essence of hate. Interesting. And now I'm dead. Okay, there we go. Easy. Boom. Pick up this stupid essence of hate. That's right, baby. Let's go grab that love. Mmm, let's get that love. Essences of love and hate. I guess you kind of have to have both. Yes, okay. Okay, good. So I'm actually gonna cut it here. Fantastic. So the story is actually getting really good. It's, it's, I'm liking the puzzles. This whole area seems really cool and I know that there's gonna be more interesting things up there. I like the questions. I like that I had to answer and stuff. The left side was just freaking stupid. I wonder if there's gonna be anything after the cabin too. Once we figure out all this angry spirit stuff out and then we figure all the stuff out about the family. I wonder what's going to happen if there's anything after that, too. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now we're done. Oh, waiting for the stuff. Holy. Oh.